What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple has just released the fifth beta of iOS 10.3.2 to both developers and to public beta testers on a Thursday. So yeah, it's a little bit surprising, but not really because Apple has been known to do this in the past. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in iOS 10.3.2 beta 5. Of course, the very first thing I like to look at in these new betas is the size. And you can see that beta 5 is just over 237 megabytes, which is just a little bit more than beta 4, which is like 220 megabytes or something like that. Like that so really small sizes and that usually means that there isn't going to be anything new as far as features go and that's exactly what beta 5 is it's just a bunch of under the hood bug fixes that they didn't even know inside of the release notes so yeah a ton of unknown bug fixes again they didn't say anything in the release notes here so there's not really much known as to what they patched exploits they patched maybe the new pingu 10.3.1 jailbreak maybe they already patched that who knows but nothing that we know so far and of course no new features I looked through all the settings and you know I tried out everything on iOS 10.3.2 beta 5 and could not find anything new at all but of course one thing that does always change is the build number and the build number for beta 5 is 14f 5089A. So yeah, another long build number, which does usually indicate that this is not the GM build. So we're gonna have to wait and see what Apple brings next week. But you know, it wouldn't really be surprising if it was the GM, if this was the GM and the final gets released next week, or if there's another beta. And of course, whenever iOS 10.3.2 does get released to the public in its final form, it might very well be the second to last iOS 10 firmware to be released because iOS 11 will be unveiled and begin beta testing in June at WWDC. So we could be seeing an iOS 10.3.3 or a 10.4 update before iOS 11. So as I mentioned, there is nothing new in iOS 10.3.2 beta 5, just a bunch of under the hood bug fixes, but I did notice that the annoying black screen glitch or animation glitch, whatever you wanna call it, did come back when I was opening up the YouTube application, as you just saw. This was supposedly fixed on a previous beta, but apparently it has not been fully fixed because I just got it. And it is very annoying to see that black screen when you load up an application. It does take longer to load up the application as well. I did not have this on any previous beta on 10.3.2. But everything else seems to be fine and pretty much the exact same. Battery life's gonna be the same. You know, the performance, there's no lagginess or anything like that. Everything seemed to be the same. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Like I said, I like to keep you guys informed regardless of the significance significance of these beta updates. I know they're nothing crazy, but I just like to keep you guys informed. And especially since I didn't make a video for beta four, I needed to make one here for beta five. But thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe for a lot more videos like this. Also expect a new top tweaks video this weekend. I know it's been delayed a lot, mainly because of the S8, the barrage of videos that came out with the S8 and then the 10.3.1 jailbreak. So it's been crazy lately. And, uh, but I fully expect that top tweaks video to be out this weekend. But anyways, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.